Uh, now we've got all our parts disassembled. We're going to take everything over to the sink. There's going to be a little bit more further uh, disassembly we're going to need to do because we're going to take all of our O-rings off and wash all those. Uh, I'm just going to go through the quick process here how to do this. So I would start with our door and drop that in our sink. Make sure it gets nice and wet. Uh, and then you can use some of these brushes. I would run these through, through all your throttle valves there. Just kind of clean those out. Scrub around the grooves. Uh, our grooves here, we want to make sure we're scrubbing these grooves. This is where our bacteria is going to live. So if you leave the O-rings on in any of these pieces that we're taking apart and don't take the O-rings off, that bacteria is still going to be behind these O-rings. Um, so if you put this back together, it's going to slightly move. When you put it back together, it's going to release the bacteria. It's going to recontaminate everything we just cleaned. So it's very important we take all the O-rings off every single time we're doing the cleaning and make sure we scrub those grooves behind there. So we want to kind of just kind of scrub those up. You can use a bigger brush if you want, or you can even use this little nail file brush type thing here to get in there. I just want to get in all the little grooves there. <clears throat> a couple of other brushes we can use. A uh, small blue one here. You can get into these little grooves in here where the mix comes out. There's a couple orifices in here we want to kind of run through real quick. And then also one right here in the middle that goes for for our uh, I'm looking for split the yeah. twist. twist. Can't think today. <laughs> all right, rinse that back off. Then we're gonna rinse it all off. <laughs> Side to let it air dry. Alright, so after we get done rinsing it off, we're going to dip it in some sanitizer. Just all the surfaces. Then we can pull it out to let it air dry. So, also, something we recommend is making a little bath here to a smaller container. Put all of our O rings in. That way they don't get lost as we're rinsing everything off and they end up going down your drain. Uh, we're going to take apart our pump. So we're going to start by pulling the big pin out. I just drop that in the sink. I'm going to take the top of the pump off. Put that in, and we'll watch out for this little flap here. We want to make sure that that gets into our little water bath here. And I'm going to take the pump apart. I'm going to push the two pieces out. That one, and that one. So now our pump's disassembled. Uh, we can dump that in our soapy water. Run the brush through there. Same thing. Rinse off and sanitize. Um, as far as these O-rings go on here, we want to make sure to take every O-ring off on this entire system. So we start by just getting up underneath the edge there, and peel the O-ring off. Again, we're going to make sure we scrub that groove. Throw the O-ring in the little water bath there. We want to make sure we're scrubbing that groove. We've got some smaller brushes here that will fit uh, various orifices on this pump. So we want to make sure we're running those through there. All these little orifices in here as well. Okay, I'll drop that in. Same thing with that. We'll take the O-ring off of there. Drop it in. Scrub our groove. A little soap of water. Just like that. Get all our little crevices down here on the bottom part. And we'll rinse it off. And sanitize. Once we're done rinsing them, we're gonna go over to our sanitizer sink. Sanitize the door. Pull that out, so the side to air dry. Okay, now we'll go on to some other parts, feeder assembly, same type of thing we're going to drop in here. I usually use a big tool brush here, barrel brush, just kind of scrub all the little grooves, and we'll rinse it off. And sanitize. So continue with the rest of the, your parts, your um, draw valves and your bleeder valves, taking those O-rings off. We want to make sure we're kind of careful with those as we're taking them apart. Uh, they will stretch a little bit, but we don't want to stretch them too far. So just make sure that, that tool, like especially these smaller ones, just get up underneath the edge of there, just barely, put your thumb on the side, spin it around and pop them off. Again, make sure we're scrubbing the groove. Okay. Uh, with the brushes here, we've got a, a uh, chart here that kind of tells you a picture of each brush, uh, describes it what color the bristles are and where it's to be used at. So if you need help in uh, knowing where to use which brush for where, please refer to this little manual.